Hello, welcome to Wolfway TV. Thank you for stopping by my channel to watch my videos. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button so that you always be alerted whenever I drop a new video and you'll be part of the Wolfway TV family. But if you've been coming here, you already love my content. Please subscribe to my channel so that you can also be officially part of the Wolfway TV family. All you have to do is just click on sign in when you get on YouTube or just attempt to click on subscribe. If it tells you to sign in, uh, sign in with your Gmail login information. Uh, if you can't get your password, please reset it, okay? Put in a little bit of effort so that you can be part of the Wolfway TV family so you can get a lot of information, know a lot of things about coming to America and then the things you need to do get done so that you can enjoy the American dream when you come to America. All right, guys, thank you so much for doing this for me. This is the website that we'll be using to apply for the Lodo. You type in your browser and then it goes to the website. You click on begin entry, that is the green button. You type in the authentication code, it will be different for everybody. And then you click submit, all right? Um, and then here is the part one of the entrant information. You put in your uh, surname or last name here, your first name, and then uh, middle name if you have one. So those of you who have multiple names, so just make sure you put them in the right places. Um, and then if you don't have it, you check your know, middle name, you select your gender, and then you select your uh, date of birth, uh, month, day, year. Um, you type that information in, just make sure that everything that you're putting in here matches what is in your passport, all right? Uh, matches everything that is in your passport. Um, so I'm typing in my uh, year of birth here and then it asks for your city of birth you so you type in your city uh put in what is on your birth certificate okay and i'm sure your city of birth the same thing is inside your passport so make sure everything is matching up and you select the country here it asks for your eligibility based on so if your country is eligible then you choose yes because you are basing your eligibility based on your country all right so number seven is asking for your passport information so you put in your name as it as is shown in the passport um i realized that some passport documents they don't show like middle name so if you have two names at the given name then the first one on the left will be your first name and then the second one at the given name might be your middle name you put in your your passport number please be sure you don't make any mistake if you type in the wrong passport, uh, you're going to get disqualified. You, you select the country that the passport is from. And here, you choose your photo, your passport photo that you should have taken already and have it on your computer or on your phone, whichever way that you're doing it. And then it asks for your address. So if you have post office address, you can do that. Um, and uh, you fill that information if your country doesn't have a zip code please don't put 233 or 234 237 256 those are not zip codes those are country calling codes and you put in your phone number i didn't do for this one because know that this is just a demonstration but you put in your phone number and then uh, when you put your phone number add your country code so class either 233 plus 256 plus 237 whatever um also uh don't forget your email address uh is very important to remember the email address that you're using um because if you lose your confirmation number if your confirmation number is not working uh, you would need to remember this email address uh, you select your highest level of education and uh, the next thing you select your marital status uh you are married or married um, you select what uh, what your status is. Please read the information there. And then you type in the number of children that you have. They ask you for the total number. So here I'm getting an error. So you scroll down to see where the error is. Here is telling me with the red letters, telling me what the error is. So it looks like the passport picture 
that I used had not been resized. Um, it was not the correct size. It's, that is the only time that you'll get an error with the picture part. If your picture has not been resized uh, correctly, then definitely you're going to run into problems. So I fix it and submit again. All right, so now I'm on part two. So part two, because I selected on marriage, so if I were a married person, it will ask for my spouse's information here before we go to part three with my children. But since I said it's just me and my my child, so part two, it will ask for my child's information. So I'm typing, um, and it doesn't matter whether you type in with the, the oldest child or the youngest child first, it doesn't matter. Also, follow the same convention as here is on their birth certificate or if your children have passport, make sure you're following the same concept. But remember that when you're getting your passport, you use your birth certificate, you use the birth certificate of the child. So that's why you always make, want to make sure you're consistent, okay? So you type in the date of birth of your child, um, the place uh, you choose, um, the date, yeah, you put the date of birth of the child, you select the child's gender, the city of birth, like where the child was born, the city that the child was born in. If it's a village, whatever, just put the name of the place. All right, you don't need to add the region, you don't need to add whether it's in Ghana or in Kenya. No, they just want the city name. All right, and then you select the country, there's an option for you to select country. And now you select your child's photo. Remember, I told you guys that you need to get a photo of your child. But since this is a demonstration that I'm doing, I don't have a child picture, so I'm going to use my own picture as an example. But you don't use your own picture, use your child's picture. And then, so this part will be child number two. It says child number two at the top, and then you fill that information for your child number two. So if I said that I had five children, then there will be multiple several ones you say child number one child number two child number three child number four but remember you're filling the same information for all of them so just like their name uh, as it shows on the birth certificate their uh, date of birth uh, their gender their place of birth for your children they don't need to have a passport um if you have a spouse they don't need to have a sp uh, passport to put them on this application and for your children um they don't need um you don't need to be married to their parents so all of your children that are living so the stepchildren adopted children biological children you need to put them on the on the application and so uh you put their names their uh date of birth uh their gender their city of birth country of birth all right um and um, it will take you to, and then you, so I select the country of birth, and now I'll get the um, passport picture. And remember, guys, as I said, I'm not using the child's photo. I'm using my own photo as an example because I don't want to use any baby's photo. So now I'm finished. But see, it's letting me look at everything that I've entered. So now you have the chance to review, read through, and see if uh, you made any mistakes. If you made any mistakes, you can go back and uh, fix it. But since there's no, no mistake, I just click submit. As you guys can see, this was so quick. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.